The thing we like best about working with AWS is the relationship we have is a two-way thing, so they bring solutions to our problems. I'm John O'Donovan, I'm the CTO for the Financial Times. The Financial Times is 126 years old this year, but has very much transformed itself into a digital organisation at the cutting edge of news. I look after the technology team, including the development and operations teams. Uh, we run the services for digital and print. We look after a number of different areas of uh, investment that the FT has, and we particularly focus on being as embedded and as close to the newsroom and the business as possible. The, the reasons we looked at AWS were fairly straightforward. The, uh, the cost model was obviously important to us. There are things like global distribution, so does it have the capacity? If you're a global organisation, you care about getting traffic everywhere you want. You want to be able to get to Asia as well as you want to be able to get to London. And there was an element of the relationship that we like, how they've supported us in making that transition as a, a really key thing. For Redshift, we were really interested in the speed and the performance it gave us, the, the flexibility and the cost model, so we're not having to invest in something and putting quite a lot of money into it just to find out if it works, which a lot of the other BI products required us to do. The amount of time invested was considerable just to test it out. The thing we really liked about the Redshift model is we had a very easy way to spin it up, try it out. We were able to take some data and compare it directly with our existing service. And from that, we could see very clearly that there were huge benefits in moving forward. The key thing about the performance increase we're seeing with Redshift is around the, the speed at which we can access the data and use it. Some of the queries which we've been running are running 98% faster. When the analysts started to do queries, they actually thought it was broken because it was running so fast. And that is something which they're not very used to. They're used to running the queries and they got used to the idea of going and making a cup of tea. Some of the queries they ran, ran in five or six seconds and when they used to take minutes. So we can move to practically real time performance of queries. We, we're not running reports and making decisions on a daily or weekly basis. We can make fast decisions. We can do them when they matter in the business. We can show much more clearly where the revenue is coming from. We can see what people are liking on the site. We can start to look at how uh, things might be trending and we can correlate that with other interesting information as well. So you start to layer up information in a very powerful way which when you have the performance to do it then that becomes possible. The amazing thing is that not only are we seeing a huge performance increase, it's coming at an 80% reduction in costs from our previous data warehouse. With the same data size footprint, we can start to see how we can uh, get rid of some of our older infrastructure, how we can translate it into a newer model. It allows us to take some of our uh, existing platforms and look at them in a different cost model, which for us is very powerful. So for us, that's, uh, that's a win-win. It's a great result to have, to have something that everyone thinks is successful uh, from top to bottom in the business.